Good day, English winners. Today we're going to talk about S endings and pronunciation. S endings. This is another big one. Like ED endings, which I'll have at the end of this video so you can link to it, uh, S endings have three different endings, which make them challenging, but we're going to straighten it out and make it very easy to do. Like I said, S endings are very important. If you want to describe more than one of anything called plural, you're going to need S endings, like cats, dogs, hamburgers, reports, hamburger reports. We even add an S at the end of some verbs to show simple present tense. We use things like simple present tense to describe things like habits, facts, future scheduled events, or just to tell stories. Examples, David brushes his teeth. A whale swims in the ocean. The train leaves at 7 p.m. A man walks into a bar. So let's get into some pronunciation trouble spots. Spanish speakers, like ED endings, you tend to pronounce the id sound or the is sound with an E. So instead of faces, you say faces. This is not good. We're going to teach you the I sound and there's going to be practice uh, on my other ED ending video, which I'll have at the end of this one. Asians. Look out, especially North Asians, look out for those extra syllables. Like instead of smashes, I'll hear smashes. This is not good. So you're saying three syllables, smashes. I want that third syllable to drop, smashes. Another example, wings. Instead of wings, you'll say wings. No wings, wings. Drop that extra syllable, wings. Okay, let's get on to pronouncing the S endings. So like I said, there are three types of S endings. The first one is the S. That's pretty simple, like bats. Very simple. Another one is the Z sounding S ending, like wings. And then finally, we have the is, which is pronounced I-Z, is, like watches or mirages. So how do you know which one is which? How do you know to use the S, the Z, or the is sound? Well, we're going to explain that in this video. So first off, the S sounding S endings. I'm going to throw a picture on the board so you can take a look. Words that end with these sounds, F, F, K, K, P, P, T, and unvoiced th sound. They use the s pronunciation. So remember our ed ending video where with the t e d endings f k and p had the simple t sounding ending like laughed, liked, things like that. Well, same idea with the simple s sounding ed ending. We've just added the unvoiced TH. Let's go to the pictures on the board again one more time. Laughs, smacks, sips, starts, baths. Second, we have the Z sounding ED endings. And this is pretty easy to tell. This is how you do it. Uh, when a word ends with a letter that makes you turn on this part of your voice, the voiced consonants, like B, V, Z, V, the voiced TH consonant, M, M, N, N, all those have the Z sounding S ending. I'll put the picture on the board so you can see. And in case you don't know what a voiced consonant is, I'll also have a card at the end of this video pointing to voiced consonants so you can learn how to say them for yourself. So the voiced sounds are here. B, B, D, D, G, G, L, L, M, M, N, N. 
the ng sound. Ng. R. R. V. V. And the voiced th sound. V. The words are stings, rooms, pads, magazines, strives, paths. So quick note here, some words end with a vowel, like potato, and some end with the part-time vowel y, like dry. Now the y changes to ie, but the sound doesn't change. So dry becomes dries, and potato becomes potatoes. No extra syllable. It's not potatoes. It's not dry is. It's potatoes and dries. Okay? Let's move on to the next sound. The iz is syllable s ending. Now, most of your words with this ending are going to have the s sound at the end of the word already, like pass. Since there's an S at the end of pass, we're going to add is, passes. But we also use the I-Z syllable, is, S ending, for letters that are kind of close or related to the S sound. I'll show you on the board behind me. The letters are S, S, S H, SH, the soft G, Z, C H, the J sound, J, and X, X. The words are discuss, becomes discusses, fish, fishes, mirage, mirages, punch, punches, package, that's the J sound, packages, and box, boxes. So I'm going to put some words on the board behind me and we're gonna have some word practice, okay? Let's do it. So these are some S ending words up on the board. Now I want you to guess which ending these words each have. Do they have an S, S sounding ending? Do they have a Z sounding S ending? Or do they have an I, Z, is syllable S ending? Pause the video and guess. I'll wait a couple seconds for you to do that. Okay, now we're going to go over them together and then I'll show you which sounds they are. Okay, let's go. Faxes, dads, buses, wits, kicks, garages, wishes, drives, maps, watches, brooms, and schedules. I'll show you the sounds now. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat some sentences. Sentence time. The foxes ate many boxes of walnuts. The foxes ate many boxes of walnuts. Luis looks at her maps before she decides to leave. Luis looks at her maps before she decides to leave. Fred punches the wall when he learns the rooms are full. Fred punches the wall when he learns the rooms are full. The traveler wishes the mirages were real lakes. The traveler wishes the mirages were real lakes. After doing your books, I see your assets are valuable. After doing your books, I see your assets are valuable. So that is it for our S endings. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below, as well as any other opinions or comments you have about learning English. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'll also post a link to the ED endings video I did earlier and also the voiced consonants video. Go ahead and check those out. And until then, keep on winning, English winners. I'll see you later.